Loads of cloud gaming news in this fine Tuesday, folks. PlayStation has announced their February lineup for PS Now. Xbox followed suit with their Game Pass games for the first half of the month, and we have a will it won't it situation over at Stadia with Dying Light 2 Stay Human. Nine games will be made available in the cloud from Xbox this February. Arriving on the third, we will have Contrast, where you can explore a dreamlike, vaude villain world of the 1920s, in which you can shift freely in and out of the shadow. Tasked with helping a young girl named Dee Dee, you will unravel the mysteries behind her troubled family and the dark secrets that must be exposed to reshape her future. Dreamscaper comes in hot the same day and is an endlessly replayable action roguelike with a walking, dreaming gameplay cycle. By night, delve deep into your subconscious, facing nightmares in an ever-changing world filled with unique items, abilities and challenges. By day, explore the city of Red Haven, build relationships and unlock permanent upgrades to take on the next dream stronger than ever. Telling Lies is an investigative thriller game with non-linear storytelling revolving around a cache of secretly recorded video conversations. Telling Lies is directed by Sam Barlow, creator of Her Story and writer-designer of Silent Hill, Shattered Memories, and will be available on February 3rd. Besiege, a game preview arriving on February 10th, is a physics-building game where you construct war machines to obliterate fortresses, annihilate legions of soldiers, navigate hazards, and solve physics puzzles. Also arriving on February 10th is GRPG Edge of Eternity. Wage epic turn-based battles as you follow Darian and Selene on their quest to find a cure to the all-consuming corrosion in this grand tale of hope and sacrifice. Skull is a fast-paced action roguelite where losing your head is encouraged, featuring 100 playable characters each with their own unique abilities and a ton of items that can create wild synergies. The battles are as electrifying as they are challenging. Battle hordes of zombies and monsters and the last kids on earth in the Staff of Doom a semi-open-world action RPG that tells a new story in the post-apocalyptic town of Wakefield. Playing as teen survivors Jack, Quint, June or Duck, you'll explore zombie-infested streets on your quest to stop Malondre, a powerful adversary from attaining the Staff of Doom. Ark Ultimate Survivor Edition will be available on February 14th. This edition includes Ark Survival Evolved along with these huge expansion packs, Scorched Earth, Aberration, Extinction, and Genesis Parts 1 and 2, all updated and optimised with every improvement made since the launch of the base game, adding thousands of hours of gameplay. Infernax is our final game from today's announcement, arriving February 14th. Infernax is the adventures of a great knight who returns to his homeland only to find it plagued with unholy magic. While on your quest to find and destroy the source of this corruption by any means necessary, you will face ruthless creatures, dangerous beasts and precarious terrains. MLB The Show 22, launching April 5th, will be arriving on day one via Xbox Game Pass and it will be available via Xbox Cloud Gaming as well. We fully expect performance in this one to be a step up from last year's version as MLB 21 arrived before Xbox upgraded their cloud hardware. Five games are leaving the cloud this month and the escapees are noteworthy. Control, Code Vein, The Medium, Project Winter and The Falcon Near. You have until February 15th to check these out. Today's PlayStation Now blog announcing this month's games is a lacklustre to say the least. Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, The Definitive Edition, Little Big Workshop, Through the Darkest of Times and Death Squared are this month's games and will be available starting tomorrow, February 2nd. Grand Theft Auto Vice City will only be available until Monday, May 2nd. What a morning it has been for the Stadia community. We have a will it won't it situation going on with Dying Light 2 Stay Human. Rodolphe over at CGX France found Stadia listed on the Dying Light 2 pre-order page that you see on screen, but this was eventually changed after much speculation done the rounds. Marchief came up with a very good theory as to why this was. If we take a look at the pre-order page from this morning, we see it reads Plus and Stadia. Now we believe this was intended to read Plus Switch and Stadia, and this makes sense if the game is coming to Stadia at a later date, as we already know Dying Light 2 is getting a cloud version on the Nintendo Switch, but that won't be coming for at least 6 months after its initial launch this Friday, February 4th. 
plenty of news to sink our teeth into today. Let us know what you all think in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Stay safe.